Hey guys, Kim Java. Um, yeah, happy 2023. So we are getting ready to head to CES and checking out a new smart device on wheels while we're there. I also plan on learning about all the cool future tech that's coming out, especially in the EV space. And I wanted to share with you guys kind of a teaser for what to expect, as well as get your thoughts on what you want from me in this next year. Um, so, you know, let me know in the comments down below what you want me to cover while I'm at CES and also just like what future videos you want to see me making in this next year. So obviously electric cars are my main focus on this channel and I've had a lot of you guys message me to take a look at a few different EVs and just give you my opinion on them. And one of them is the EV brand TOG. So this is Turkey's first vehicle, which TOG actually refers to as a smart device. And if you're scratching your head and you're thinking smart device, um, just stick with me for a little while here and it will I promise you it's all going to make sense. It's actually Turkey's first vehicle or smart device to compete globally for over 60 years. And it's really one of the most compelling EVs that I've seen from a startup with just so much going for it. So first off, TOG's EVs are co-designed by an Italian car designer behind some of the most iconic brands. Plus it has its own dedicated fast charging network being deployed across Turkey as it starts to roll out these vehicles. Something that really got my attention about TOG is that they actually launched their concept smart device at CES last year. And what's crazy is that it just drew so much attention while at CES that it ranked as one of the top 20 brands at the event and it became the sixth best booth out of 2,300 participants. And their electric C SUV is coming to a market in part of the world that has seen just incredible growth in the EV space just over even these past few years. But what really separates TOG from other startups is some of its incredible tech that I'm hoping to just get a closer look at um, while I'm in Vegas in this next week. So for those of you guys that don't know, Turkey has a huge automotive market with over half a million passenger car sales in 2022, about 490,000 of which were all combustion cars. But those roughly 10,000 EV sales actually represents a 500% increase in EVs in just the past two years. So demand is increasing really, really fast. So TOGS cars or smart devices are rolling out with their own dedicated fast charging network called Trugo Charging that's initially being rolled out over Turkey right now and it will expand as the brand does. TOGS also looking to transform the whole mobility sector as a tech company, you know, which is a lot like Tesla. They're focusing their brand not just as a car, but as this smart device. So there's obviously a lot of startups every year and every car maker, you know, seems to be releasing a new EV. But I think the game changer is really going to be how we experience mobility and how cars are connected to our lives as much as any other smart device. So we've all seen how Tesla has made their cars so much more than something that just gets you from point A to point B. They've added entertainment with the Tesla theater mode, gaming with Steam and things like karaoke. And I think that companies like TOG are thinking along these same lines as far as the overall experience and the ecosystem with your EV. So just like a lot of you guys out there, I've only recently started learning about TOG as an EV maker, but there's a couple of things that really stood out to me and reminded me again so much of the whole Tesla approach to their EVs and their ecosystem. So if you followed along with the growth of EVs in just the past few years, you'll probably know that most EV newcomers will have a a lot of hype and fanfare around just the unveiling of their new products and it kind of just ends up being mostly vaporware. But TOG's pretty unique as a startup because it actually has gotten things done before bragging about them. Also they're setting some pretty high but with everything they have going for them they're definitely realistic production goals and they plan to initially begin the domestic sales in Turkey for about 18 months before they start exporting their EVs across Europe and then the rest of the world after that. 
So we don't know the price of their first EVs yet, but we should know these pretty soon. And what we do know is that the first ones that will be leaving the production line will be Tog's compact C SUVs, followed by four other models in the future. Tog has also partnered with a pretty big battery supplier in a joint venture to make lithium ion packs in the new factory being built right next to the plant. And again, it all sort of reminds me of Tesla's joint venture with Panasonic. And you guys may or may not know this, but I'm a mom of three, so I definitely keep my eyes on all up and coming electric SUVs. The first thing everyone wants to know about is the charging infrastructure. So there's about 1,000 fast DC chargers that are being built for Tog under the Trugo brand that I told you guys about. And just like Tesla, Tog can plan exactly where the best charging stations are en route and show you the most cost-effective options so your trip is planned accordingly. So so the final spec should be available soon, but the company previously said that base versions will be single motor rear wheel drive with 200 horsepower with a 400 horsepower dual motor all wheel drive arriving later. And there will be two battery choices, a smaller one offering 186 miles of range and a larger one offering 310 miles, both measured on the NEDC cycle. So personally, let's take a look at these designs because I just love the sleek and sporty design. And it's not a design that you would typically expect from a first time automaker. It's more refined. And I think that this is because it is co-designed by the famed Italian car designer, Pinin Farina, the same group who previously designed several models of Ferraris, Bentleys, as well as the Alfa Romeros. Okay, but looks aside, when it comes to talk, it is really all about the tech. I mean, they call their automobile a smart device. Todd considers it more of a third living space inside the vehicle, saying it will offer the owner digital products and services around this smart device with their mobility ecosystem. So I'll be curious to learn more about this in person over at CES. Tog is also rolling out an app called Trumor and you don't even have to have a Tog to use it. It actually works with any car and it helps you just find and plan the best route for your trip and it tracks your savings as an EV driver and it'll let you earn money by selling what Tog's calling their personal digital magnet. Plus it has a bunch of other features with it as well. So you know, it all kind of comes back to the Tesla comparison and the entire ecosystem around Tog's EVs, which I find really fascinating. So with Tesla, we have this tech car that you could also argue offers a lot of smart features. And this is why I'll be going to CES just to get my hands on this and answer all those questions for myself and for all of you guys. So let me know down in the comments below exactly what you are curious about, what questions you have, um, you know, what do you want to see with Tog specifically? I plan on making a whole video about Tog while I'm there. Um, I just think it's really fascinating and a lot of unique and different terms that I haven't heard before are being used with this smart device. So we'll definitely be covering that. Also, I'm planning on joining a live stream over on Alex Guberman's channel, e for electric I will be at Tog's booth on January 5th at 2 p.m. Pacific time. So be sure to check it out. And if you guys are in the area, you know, stop by, say hello. I will link his channel down below, but make sure you guys set a reminder. We'll be discussing all the EV news from CES. And thank you guys so much for watching this video and make sure you're subscribed to our channel and we'll see you in the new year.